Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at a basic training video on how to do some rudimentary things in TradeStation. You've installed your indicators and obviously we've also provided a template for you so that's obviously a very easy thing for you to do. You've got a workspace that's already pre-built but we're going to get you know beyond that. So I mean if I take any workspace you want to save it to your computer somewhere, right? So I click on this and I'm going to say save. And again, you've already installed the indicators. This is more about how to use TradeStation, but I'll just show you uh, very quickly what you do. So once you've got TradeStation open, you can just go to here to File and Open Workspace. All right? It's going to tell you, hey, look and see where your workspace is. Well, typically most of them download to your desktop or to your downloads folder so again here's the one I just downloaded just now if I click on it and I say open all the indicators are gonna come up charts are gonna be filled with everything okay so you can see that you've got numerous charts that are already built they've got all the indicators you need on it but what if there's a market that you wanna trade something else or you wanna now copy and move these around. Well, it's very easy to duplicate any of these charts. Just pick any chart and again TradeStation all you ever have to do is you right click on a chart and those are all pretty much options for everything you're gonna do. So let's right click on the chart. I'll pick the oil chart and again here if you right click there's wherever you're gonna do. You're gonna format symbol that's where you change the symbol or tick time frame format analysis techniques that's where you change any of the settings for the indicators you currently have on the chart you go on down you can have well there's actually view data window is here too a lot of people don't know how to put the data window up and uh, so again there's a couple ways to open a data window again this you know Troy puts it at the right edge of his chart when you click on a setup you see the numbers that's just the data window but people miss what the data window is or how to open it up well again right click on the chart it's right there as well um, then insert analysis techniques that's if you want to add an indicator say an EMA another jump line some other indicator that you like to put on a chart that's where you add it insert analysis techniques and we'll go through this again but come down here to copy window alright copy window and paste window is how you duplicate charts so again I've right clicked on the chart I say copy window I've duplicated this chart it's in my mouse now let's go ahead and make a whole new workspace this is called a workspace all of these charts right here are on a workspace and that was the default workspace we gave you just come right down here at the bottom and right click anywhere at this gray bar at the bottom and you can say hey let me have a new workspace it'll pop up blank and it says untitled workspace 2 all you have to do is right click anywhere in here and you say paste window that oil chart that we just copied we pasted we could do this we could duplicate it let's say we want two charts on here right click again paste the window I now have two charts they're both of oil but again we can make those whatever we want uh, this under window right up here at the top you can say window and you can say arrange all arrange horizontally or vertically it will go and arrange these two charts make them big so now let's say we want to change this oil chart to something else we right click on the chart and again format symbol this is where you change the symbol um, here's a good example here too this is the continuous chart on oil as you know we trade it in monthly increments so this changes every month if you want to actually place a trade you need to be charting the actual front month contract and you can obviously look it up under this lookup uh, or well I know it's the CLV14 that's the current contract we're doing and again tick volume time minutes days weekly down here is where you get momentum let's say we want to take a look at oil on a momentum chart 
and or range. All right, so let's say momentum. Then you come up here to this range box, and that's where we're going to type in the range on oil. And so let's say every 10 cents, uh, and of course you just have to look at the price action on oil. Oil right now is about $94.25. So if we want to say every 10 cents that it moves, this would be a 0 0.10, right? Because that's 10 cents out of this dollar, $94. So when it goes from 10 to 20, and you typically want to have at least five days back, maybe eight, and then just say, okay. Let's just see what that chart looks like. This will be a, a range of 10 cents on oil. Looks pretty good. Some nice move here. That trade didn't work out. Of course, that was five o'clock in the morning. You see it's a much larger um, you know, trade. So again, this was a nine o'clock trade, uh, 8.46. So again, this is the trade you would have uh, gotten in sync with and it came up really nice. One and done, you're done. Obviously, we didn't get any other trade. Uh, there was another afternoon trade here. Worked out well. Hey, maybe this is a good plan. I don't know. But anyway, you can see right up here at the top of your chart, it's got the CLV 14. You read over here at the top of the blue, it says crude oil October 2014. If we want to change it to December or, or November, again, we can look up the symbol. Uh, it's alphabetical, so it's CL, and the V is going to obviously change to uh, one of the next letters in the alphabet. Till finally December will be Z. So I think November, and the way I, I do it is I just kind of start going up in the alphabet. So if I change this to, it might be a W, because that's the next letter. Um, so just change it to a W. It'll tell you whether you're right or wrong. Nope. So let's change it to the next one. X. I think X is winner. X. So now you already know and oil changes about the middle of the month. So you already know what the contract for November is going to be and you can see right up here it says November 2014. So you'll be trading the X contract. You see it still does have volume but not nearly as much volume. And this V right up here also tells you the volume. 36,000 on the X contract for November. Let me change it back to the V and we'll see how much more volume there is on the V contract. There, uh, 168,000. So you see there's a lot more volume. But anyway, we'll change over, the volume will switch, and that's when we change over the next contract. All right, so again, these are all the indicators. Now, let's take a look at the indicators. Right click on the chart, and again, remember, format analysis techniques is where you edit or view the indicators you have on the chart and insert analysis techniques is where you add one. So let's go ahead and click on format analysis techniques. The calculator's popped up here and you can see I've got two moving averages, one's a 50, one's a 200. I have two jump lines, a 4 and a 9. I have the ticks left, that is the uh, little counter over here. Uh, you'll see it on, on this chart, this oil chart. It just counts down on a tick chart to where you know about when a bar is going to close. And then the trend jumper calculator. So again, you're, if your settings, you're going to change your settings, you're going to select the trend jumper calculator and say format. That will pop it up under the inputs tab. If you're going to change a color or the size of anything, those are these tabs on style and color. If you're changing a jump line or anything, or if I want to change, you know, the size of my little pluses or dots. So again, back to the Inputs tab. Ignore this version date. That is a, you see 2012? That is just a text field. It does not mean anything. If I were to delete this calculator, and let's go ahead and do that, it's a good example of adding an indicator. I'm just going to add the default calculator. So I'm going to take this calculator, and I'm going to go ahead and remove it. You can see it's all disappeared. Close this. Now let's add the calculator. Right click on the chart, insert analysis techniques, and it's all alphabetical. If I want to add a moving average, look, moving average. I can add, let's add one too. Let's add a, well, it just added, it's this blue line. I think the default is 14. Let's go back, right click, insert analysis techniques, 
and let's go down to the PTU trend jumper. PTU trend jumper, that is the calculator right there. Say OK. Now it's added all the defaults and so let's go ahead and now maybe edit this or I'll show you the date field. We'll certainly edit this other moving average line I added. Right click on the chart, format analysis techniques. You can see this was that moving average line one. Let's say I wanted to edit this, select it, format, um, and I want to make it a uh, exponential or I think that's just a regular moving average one. If I wanted to make it a 14, just change the period and make it a 14. Okay, but let's get down to the trend jumper calculator, format that. You can see the date here is now 7-29-13. That's because I removed the old one and just added a fresh one. Anytime you put the latest indicators on, that won't change, but you know that you've got the latest indicator. It automatically updates the calculator, but it does not change this text field. The only way to change the text field is to remove the calculator and add another one. But then you've got to go and make all your settings like you had it. So this is again a default. If you were changing oil, we change this to true and we change this to 14 and that's pretty much it. That's the only change from a default calculator. So I've shown you how to add indicators, how to edit indicators, and another thing that people seem to get hung up with is jump lines. All right, let's remove everything from the chart, and we're going to add. I'm going to start from scratch. You didn't open a template. I don't know why you wouldn't open our template and then just copy and paste to make more charts. But again, you can right-click on the chart, insert analysis techniques, pick a jump line. Let's go to the jump line. There it is, and say OK let's go ahead and add another jump line and if you're using MetaTrader 4 you actually have to do one more step let's go ahead you can actually select it uh, or you can right click on the chart and format it let's go ahead and make this turn this into the confirmation line which is a 4 just change the period to a 4 I'm going to change the color to like a purple um, I'll make that purple and that's it so now I've got that. Let's add another jump line because you need two jump lines so you just have to add a second one. Insert analysis techniques, add a second jump line and say OK. It'll pop up and that will be the default 9 in yellow. Alright, so again you can see them, right click, format, you can see right now all I have are two jump lines on. And if you're going to add a moving average right click insert analysis techniques let's go up here to moving average and make sure we pick the exponential right there all right click on it it just it's red right click format it format it and let's make it a 50 and make it yellow 50 and yellow again We've built a template that's all done for you, but this is how you add things to the chart. If you want to add another moving average, go ahead and place it. If you want to make this thicker, you can just select it, you can right click on it, and you can say format, or you can go ahead and right click on the chart. Format, pick the moving average, say format, go to style, and increase the weight. It'll be a little bit thicker. Okay, so now the final step is to come down here and name this workspace. Let's say you're doing some experiments on oil or you're going to do oil with a matrix. Right click on the chart on this little tab down here untitled and say save it as. This way you can give it a name and we're going to say um, oil range because we're looking at a range bar on oil with this little test. Alright, now you'll see it's oil range. When you're all done with TradeStation you can just X up here or you can you know file and close uh, the desktop this is a desktop this whole thing is a desktop and you can shut it down it'll ask you if you want to save it give it a name in fact this is untitled uh, do you want to save it usually it, you save all your changes so yes to all and it's saved and gone that's it 
I hope it helps. Good trading.